Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Would the maker of the amendment please rise for a brief interrogation? The gentleman has indicated he will stand for interrogation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we've heard a lot about the Wolf tax plan. Uh, can you please just briefly tell the chamber the differences between the Wolf tax plan that he outlined uh, at that rostrum back in March and what is contained in Amendment A00808? Uh, there's no difference. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Speaker. There is no difference between the tax plan in A00808 and what was outlined by governor, the governor in his budget address. No, this is uh, all the documents pertained in this bill. All the language was uh, pulled from the uh, governor's office of the budget, uh, combined together, and uh, is in A00808. At this time, I uh, recognize uh, Representative Ivankovich. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Continuing the interrogation, Mr. Speaker, can you please outline what the total tax increase is in your amendment? Yes, the uh, tax increase provided by um, the Governor's Office of the Budget, per the fiscal note, $4.6 billion in 2015 16 and $8.05 billion in 2016 17. And Mr. Speaker, we've heard a lot about the severance tax on natural gas as it pertains to the governor's tax plan. Can you please, for us, outline what percentage or what the total amount of the severance tax would be in this current fiscal year? Uh, for 15-16, $165.7 million. So, Mr. Speaker, you're telling the chamber here that roughly 4% of the governor's tax and spend proposal would be through the Marcella Shell severance tax, and the rest would be as a component of the other taxes contained in your amendment. That's correct. M Mr. Speaker, there, there seems to be some confusion about the property tax reform proposals that were included in the governor's budget. Can you please outline the differences in the chamber between the property tax changes that are contained in Amendment 808 versus, say, the property tax reform proposal that passed this chamber? Yes, thank you. The governor's proposal would use a personal income tax increase of 0.63%. Out of that, there would be revenue generation for this fiscal year of $2.4 billion. According to the Office of the Budget, only $2.1 billion out of that $2.4 billion will be certified for property tax relief not to be paid out this fiscal year. Um, Ultimately, even the property tax proposal the governor has put up is just a, ends up being a tax increase on Pennsylvania residents. The bipartisan bill that passed earlier this, or last month now, um, would increase the PIT the same exact percentage. All that money would be dedicated to property tax relief, partial payout of uh, this coming fiscal year. It would also raise the sales tax by 1%. Uh, that, that dollar would go to uh, homeowners. Um, through this year, no expansion of the base, and would also provide about $125 million in property tax rent rebate increases. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, just, if I, if I can, I would just conclude my interrogation on the bill. The gentleman is in order to proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues, very briefly, uh, don't let clever language fool you. Ha Amendment A00808 is the governor's tax plan. Mr. Speaker, I've served in this chamber since 2011. Each year we've done a budget. Each year in that budget, we did not raise taxes as part of, the, uh, as part of that budget. Mr. Speaker, each year we lived within, our, within the state's means. The reality of the Wolf's tax plan is that the Wolf's tax plan will ask Pennsylvanians to do more with less by taking more money out of their paycheck, making the cost of their goods go up in the stores that they buy things from. So it'll ask more from the constituents and the people of Pennsylvania than it asks of the government. And I just simply submit that what we need to be doing is asking the state government to do more with less rather than asking the people of Pennsylvania to do more with less. Thank you.